Metro PCS Friday Night Knockout on True TV is back. Coming to you live from the Caribbean island paradise of Puerto Rico. Hi again, everybody. I'm Kevin Kugler coming to you from inside the Roberto Clemente Coliseum. Tonight, we bring you a star-studded doubleheader, headlined by local hero, undefeated lightweight sensation, Felix Verdejo, who faces Jose Nielsen Dos Santos of Brazil. I'm honored to be joined here at ringside by welterweight title holder, Timothy Bradley Jr. And Tim, what impresses you the most about this 22-year-old? Well, he has great speed, great punch and power, great defense. I think this kid could be the total package. Also working with us, as usual, Hall of Famer Ray Mancini. And Ray Verdejo openly talks about how he looks up to Felix Tito Trinidad. How has Tito influenced Verdejo's fighting style? Well, the comparisons to his friend and hero, Felix Trinidad, are valid. He likes to stab to the body and to the head with the left jab. As well, shoot that right hand underneath and over the top, reminiscent of Trinidad. Plus, they both have that million-dollar smile. They certainly do. We're looking forward to our main event later tonight. But first, we bring you our co-feature between Nonito Donaire and Cesar Juarez of Brazil. Donaire claimed Fighter of the Year honors in 2012, but the former three-division champ quickly learned that staying on top is often harder than getting there. have that instinct of destroying anyone. Within that realm of the ring, this is my house, this is my territory. I am a gladiator, I am a warrior, and therefore I shall defeat anyone that's in front of me. I was fighter of the year during a time when I was knocking everybody out. For once in my life, I felt I was accomplished. All my life I've always been told, oh, you're not good enough. You're a little guy. You're not going to be anything. And because I felt accomplished, it felt like a mission was finished. And therefore, I felt aimless. I don't know if he hit his feet bed or what. He's not trying. He can't hit Ricky It was a 2012 Boxer of the Year, and he just doesn't seem to have rhythm right now. With the Ricky fight, for me, mentally, I lack the gratitude in my life and you know we fall into the law of familiarity we get too familiar with things and we take things for granted and that's exactly what happened to me i took everything for granted and i paid the price hard right hand by walters donaire gets in the left hook walters with two more right hands and donaire is down for the first time in my life i touched the canvas it changed the person that i am because the moment that i went down was the moment that i was thankful about my life I realized that I needed change. I visualize a lot of things, how I'm gonna beat this guy. So you gotta visualize what you want, visualize what you need. Somehow it just happens. This is the first fight that I'm really different mentally. I'm a fighter who seeks and destroys the opponent. I will surpass who I was back then. I'm joined now by Christina Poncher. Christina, Donaire is saying all the right things about his setbacks and recent refound passion for the sport. What, if anything, can we learn about him tonight? Well, we'll learn if some of that soul searching he's been doing as of late will pay off. At this point in his career, he's getting another chance at it. And there's no secret that his opponent tonight is one that he should beat. 
If he does it impressively, he's right back in the 122-pound division at the top, perhaps. But if not, at 33 years old and some of the recent setbacks he's had, he may have to reevaluate his career at this point. It's a big night for Nonito Donaire. He will climb into the ring against Cesar Juarez when Metro PCS Friday Night Knockout continues on True TV. Damas y caballeros, from San Juan, Puerto Rico, este es el combate co-estelar de esta noche. This is the co-featured bout of the evening, the Metro PCS Friday Night Knockout. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he steps in wearing the colors of Mexico, green, white, and red, presentando la esquina azul, vestido del tricolor mexicano, verde, blanco, y rojo. Su peso oficial, 122 libras, his official weight. 122 pounds. In 20 bouts as a pro, he has 17 victories against three losses, with 13 of those victories coming by way of KO a nivel profesional. Mantiene un record de 17 victorias, con solo tres derrotas y 13 de sus victorias por la vía del knockout. Fighting out of the Ciudad de México, DF, Cesar Corazón Juárez. Across the ring in the red corner. Su contrario en la esquina roja. Vestido de negro con color plateado y color azul marino. In the red corner. He steps in wearing black with silver and teal. He weighed in at an identical 122 pounds. Detuvo la báscula a un peso idéntico de 122 libras. A nivel profesional, mantiene un récord de 35 victorias. Con solo tres derrotas y 23 de sus victorias por la vía del knockout as a pro. He has 35 victories against only three losses, with 23 of those victories coming by way of KO. The five-time world champion, fighting out of San Mateo, California, and representing General Santos City, the Philippines, the Filipino Flash, Nonito Donaire. Let's take a look at Tale of the Tape, presented by Sony PlayStation. Greatness awaits. Okay, guys, you already received the instructions. Okay, ya recibieron la instrucción. Recuerden protegerse en todo momento. Remember, protect yourself all time. And respect my commands, okay? So. Touch gloves, and God bless. It's a big night for that man, Nonito Donaire against Cesar Juarez. Donaire trying to find his place once again. Can he do it tonight and reclaim a world title? Oops. Round one of a scheduled 12 is underway. And Donaire right out of the gates. See, Kevin, that's, a, that's experience right there. He shot a quick right hand because he saw the guy come in lazy without throwing anything. That's what's going to keep him on top. Well, Juarez, Juarez is going to give him opportunities to land counter punches. That's what Donaire does. Juarez, the native of Mexico City, started boxing at age eight. The other kids at school always beat him up. He didn't just rely on the fight game, though. He brings a master's degree in penal law into the ring. He's in law school right now. <laughs> well, he's in boxing school right now. <laughs> well, you know what the thing about Denaire is, it, 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 oh, good oh. shots. Denaire is a, it's a game with inches and angles with him. You know, he slides back, he moves to the side, left to right, just enough to make you miss the counter. Yeah, if you let Donaire control the geography of the ring, I honestly feel like he can do whatever he wants with you. But if you take that space away from Donaire, I think that you'd give him some problems. If the fight stays like this, or whereas on the outside, De Niro eats you up all night long. But I was told by 
handlers of Warriors that he would be pressuring Donaire and pushing him back and hope to get him in the later rounds and then take over. Juarez not able to get much done so far in this first round. Stung immediately out of the gates by Donaire. Good right hand by Juarez. Again, that's experience of Donaire. He'll do it all night long. If this guy doesn't come in behind the jab, he'll get sharpshooter with that right hand, countered all night long. Donaire counter punches so well that he tends to make his opponent Kind of his opponents kind of shell shocked. They don't like to throw too many punches. Getting hit with those big counters like that, you're gonna see Juarez not throw very many shots. Oh, Juarez is still trying there. No, Nino's always been known as a sharp shooter. Yes. And it just, you know, this is what he's doing right now. Final seconds of round one. 10 seconds. Round one about to finish up. Off to a good start here in Puerto Rico. <laughs> Round two here in Puerto Rico between Donatio Donaire and Cesar Juarez. Nice left hook by Juarez. Donaire really controlled that first round. Well, yeah, he, he controlled the distance. Everything that made him fighter of the year in 2012 and even 2010, you know, he was two-time fighter of the year, is what he did, ring generalship. He was, he's a sharpshooter, picking his spots. One of the things that you saw a little bit from Juarez is that he's able to pace this a little bit. He's fought a lot of rounds in his career and perhaps he's trying to stretch this into those later rounds and see if he can get Donaire questioning himself a little bit. Donaire, since his loss to Nicholas Walters, has won in two straight second round knockouts. Yeah, but the opposition was very limited, I think, in those fights. I think this fight is is a perfect tailor-made fighter for Donaire. You see him counter-punching at will. You see him landing clean punches. He's able to do whatever he wants against a slower, flat-footed fighter in Juarez. Well, no, Juarez is Oh, big oh, left hand! Oh! And Nonito Donaire going in for the kill. I was just going to say, Juarez, uh, Cesar Juarez is known as being a strong, durable guy. And see the shots he just took. You can see that how durable he is. Trying for that uppercut once more. Well, he's, able, he's looking for that because Juarez is leaning forward when he attacks. And he's able to land that uppercut in the middle. And he's known for, you know, it comes in with wide shots. And then again, when you have a sharp shooter like Donaire, you go right up the middle all night long. But the one thing I was surprised about Juarez at the, at the fighter meetings, he's got a master's degree. He's an educated kid. Right. He's got a master's degree, and I believe in law. Very smart kid. Donaire going to the body consistently with that left hand. Yeah, Juarez is, is very predictable. I mean, he's rocking side to side. You're able to counter him. Every single time you see him rock one side to the next side to the next side, it's able, easy to counter him. Well, Tim, when you got like, like Juarez, he's questioning himself right now. Just as you said, he's the type of fighter, he's got to just got to come forward and let his hands. Got to let his hands go. He's either going to get hit trying Ten or seconds. not trying. Yes, I will either go. way, he's going to get hit. So he might as well try. Good jab. Time! Felix Verdejo getting ready for our main event coming up in just a little bit. Round three between Nonito Donaire and Cesar Juarez. I think Juarez took Donaire's best shot right now. I think now he needs to go in there and, and let his hands go, follow behind that double jab or throw some feints, get Donaire to kind of fall short and make and counter punch. We'll have to change it up a little bit. He's felt his best punch. Look at Donaire moving on angles. He's looking pretty sweet doing that. 
trying to find different angles. What is just the two things that he's, I've noticed when I watch the tape. He's wide with his punches, and he pulls straight back after he throws it. You do that against Donaire, he's going to follow you right in and clip you on the chin. Yeah. Donaire looking sharp right now, really sharp right now. Landing Chris right hands, left hooks. That uppercut he landed was amazing. But once again, I told you, it, 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 this guy is tailor-made for him. Yes, he is. Tailor-made. Let's check in with Christina Poncher. You were listening in in Donaire's corner. I was. His dad, Nonito Donaire Sr., was just telling him to keep the distance and be a little bit more patient. He wants to see a real snap on those punches and just keep that side-to-side -side movement. So that's the game plan going forward. All right, Christina, thank you very much. Middle of round three, Nonito Donaire, 2012 Fighter of the Year. But after the setback, the loss to Nicholas Walters, dropped back down to 122 pounds and really reevaluated his entire career. Well, 122 pounds is where he belongs. Going up any higher than that, I mean, honestly, these guys are big, especially a guy like Walters, who's a, who's a big, giant 126-pounder. <laughs> See the style that his father wants him to fight. The movement, that's giving Warriors all kind of, giving them all kind of problems. He's not gonna be able to catch uh, Nonito if he keeps moving like he's doing. He's gonna have to bang that body, slow him down, try to corner him, and then muscle him. You know, rough him up a bit. I agree with you, Ray. Does Stop. Donaire need to have a knockout to get people back on the Nonito Donaire bandwagon? No, I yes. I think so. I, against a, yes. I, I against don't, a fighter that's tailor-made for him, I, I think he needs a knockout tonight. I, I just think he has to win impressively. If he wins impressively, he's back then. He's back in the mix. Not quite the bombs in this round until right now. Nice shot. As Juarez lands a shot oh, and has Donaire on the ropes for a moment. See how he's throwing punches? That's what's going to get Juarez caught on the chin. Oops. Round four of a scheduled 12. Ray Mancini, how do you have it scored through three? Well, I got three rounds to none. Donaire is pitching the shutout right now. What did we gain? What did Juarez gain from the flurry at the end of round three? Well, I honestly think he gained, uh, he gained some confidence. He's able to take Donaire's best punch. He was able to land some of his shots. I thought he did good. I think that's what he needs to do to get in this fight. Oh. Oh. Big right hand from Donaire. Oh. And Juarez is down. Well, he got clipped on the chin, then he got tripped. He got hit with that shot because he threw a jab from way too close. Juarez went down Again. three times in the first round against Jorge Lara in July of 2012. Oh. He's in trouble here and in danger of going down a second time in round four. Donaire trying to finish him off. And there's the Fiddle Pino Flash, that big left hook that he was famous for. This Juarez kid is tough. He took some big punches right there and he's still standing up. Oh, wow. Another big right hand. This is one tough guy right here. And he's clear-headed, too. He is so determined. He, he just got married. He has a baby on the way, and he's showing it tonight, showing his true courage tonight. He's Tim, I just hope he's not too, too, uh, too, too much courage for his own good. Juarez snuck a body shot in, and there's a And a beautiful left hook thrown by Donaire. I think Donaire's gonna finish him here. That left hook, the trademark of Nonito Donaire in his heyday. Oh yeah. He looks very impressive, like I told you tonight. He looks very impressive tonight. Landing clean counter punches like that, and power punches. Again, I hope not Woodes is too brave for his own good. Warriors is putting it all on the line right now. Watch Nonito just, oh. 
Juarez in trouble again. Still standing. Nito's known for stepping and sliding back a half inch or so and then countering with that left hook. The uppercut sneaks in. Juarez takes it as he has every punch in this round. I don't know. He's getting hit with too many clean punches. If I was in this corner, I would probably throw in a towel right now. Too many clean shots. Side tracks by Bleacher Report. Oh, the first knockdown from Donito Donaire. Saw a little tangle there. Yeah, you you saw Roares, he threw a jab from way too close. Nonito rolled it, threw a right hand over the top. Stepped in with a left hook, he just missed that left hook. That probably would have finished him. Here's the second knockdown, much cleaner. Nonito stepping around, threw that left hook. Roares had his hand down, caught him right on the button. Go ahead, man. Round five underway. No questioning the guts of Cesar Juarez. Uh, he's here to fight, man. He has a baby on the way, and he, like I said, he just got married. He's gonna get it everything he has, but if I'm, I tell you, if I was in this corner, I would definitely think about throwing in the towel. He's getting hit with too many big punches. He's not throwing a jab. He's not throwing anything to keep uh, Donair off of him. Nonito's gonna hook around with that left jab all night long, and one of them's gonna catch him. Well, I told you, Nonito counterpunch ability is amazing. He has a tendency of making his opponents not throw any punches and keep their hands at home. And, you know, he's able to dictate what he's doing in the ring. A more pedestrian shooting. start to this fifth round after the fireworks in the fourth. And then Warris is a lot slower as well. He, Donaire is, is a, seasoned, a seasoned fighter. He's a veteran in the sport. He sees everything coming. Again, Donaire's known for his feint, slide back, and counter. See if Donaire will follow up with that, that left hook after that right hand. And then work the right to the body. He started early on the body of Juarez with that left hand. I don't, I don't like what I'm saying. Juarez getting hit with too many big shots. Look at that. Juarez trying to answer. That's where he needs to keep the fight, right there. That's what he has to do. And be careful from the counter punch. Stay close. If I was in Warriors corner, I wouldn't even tell him to shoot to the head. I would say hit him to the body. That's all I would tell him. Hit him to the body. Go to the body. Well, he's got to. Can't hit him anywhere else. Hit him in Bang the arms. arms. Bang That's on the his arms. Bang, Bang on arms. anywhere, but not in the head. Don't try to shoot at the head. Hit him in the hip. Anywhere no, won't be there. Down. You see, Donaire is very comfortable in there. Donaire is very comfortable in there. He sees everything coming. Right. Very poised in the inside right now. Finding positions to land his shots. There's no panic in Donaire right now. How much is on that left hand that Juarez is throwing right now? He's a strong kid, and he's clubbing him, but there's not a whole lot of uh, snap behind it. And that's what knocks guys out when you snap the punch. Look at the left eye of, of Donaire right now. It's closing. It's, it's swelling a little bit. Oh, yeah. Well, Tim, you know what happens as you get open the age a little bit? Mario is trying to hold it in. Round six of a scheduled 12. Well, Warris really closed that round very well. Attacking Donaire, had a pent on the ropes, closed the gap on him, landed some good clean right hands over the top. He needs to, we need to see more of that from him if he wants to win this fight. 
You know, they say that Juarez is a great shape, and obviously he is because he's responded, coming back. Uh, I, I tell you, I'm impressed by that. I just want to see him let his hands go more, where he has no shot of winning this fight. He's got a similar comeback story to Nonito Donaire. He went through a seven-month period from 2012 through early 2013, lost two of three fights, and then took a fight as essentially an opponent and was able to get the win over Cesar Seda. That got him the fight against Juan Carlos Sanchez. He also won that one, and that's put him in position for this fight. I don't know if those fighters are the fighter that Nonito Donaire is. To put him in with Donaire at this point, hey, it's not a bad option. Um, but you could see the difference in class. Unless he comes back, like I said, he, his job or his idea was to wear uh, Nonito down in the later rounds, feeling that he's an older fighter and that he could catch up to him in the later rounds. I honestly think that Donaire is making a stake right now. He's allowing Juarez to build some confidence up. He's not really doing much. He's dancing around, moving, trying to find angles, but he's not punching off his angles. And that's allowing Juarez to walk him down and attack at will. He is in the sixth round. This is as deep as he's gone in a fight since the Walters fight. Is there any chance he wears down a little bit? Well, at this point, it, it, the kid's wearing them, walking them down, and who knows? I mean, he's kept some good shots, but no, Nito is still sharp shooting. You know, he's countering. But this kid, you know, he's strong as a bull, and if he could get him into the eighth, ninth, tenth round, we'll see. Yeah, Donaire hit him with a clean right hand over the top, but never, didn't follow it up with anything. He's doing one shot at a time. This kid has took his best punch, and he's still balling him down and coming forward. That's a slip, not a knockdown. But Donaire may be hurt. He's hurt. He rolled his ankle. Oh, his knee. Hey, hey, he rolled his ankle. Uh oh. Tight, 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 tight. Uh oh. I think Donaire's gonna have to do some soul searching right now if he has that hurt ankle. You have to forget about it and fight. This is a championship match right now. Time. Round seven of a schedule 12. Ray Mancini, how do you have it scored so far? Well, Donaire is pitching a shout out 60 to 53. I made it the fourth round at 10 8 because the first, uh, even though he, he clipped him on the chin, he went down on a trip. I saw Donaire talking to himself a little bit when he came out in the beginning of the round. Maybe he's telling himself, hey, I could still do this. You know, I'm okay. He's kind of talking to himself psychologically. He talked with us a lot yesterday in the fighter meetings about the mental side of fighting. He's been through a lot of soul searching over the last year or so. Is this where that no, no, mental no, 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 side no. really gets tested? Absolutely. This is where he said he'd gone to seminars, Tony Robbins, uh, listen to all these motivational speeches, and I admired that. And he, and he reads, and he's a student of Bruce Lee. You know, you gotta love that also. But right now, you better call on some intestinal fortitude to win this fight. Because my man, 
uh, Cesar Juarez is walking him down and he's putting his fight plan into effect. Christina Poncher, you were over in Donaire's corner. What's the word? Well, right away they went to the left ankle. As you saw, it got twisted a little bit when he fell, but uh, he told him he's fine. But he said he took that round off, but he'd like him to pick up the pace a little bit more in this round, but do it effectively. No more lazy jabs. Just look for the opening with crisp punches. That right eye is cut of Donaire. I don't know if it was from a punch or a butt, but Donaire is getting hit with some clean shots on that ropes right now. And Juarez has it pinned and has landed a couple. Warriors needs to stay tight with those punches. He's going to get hit with a counter punch if he continues to swing wildly like that against Donaire. You know, Tim, you know as well as I do, even though he's not, Warriors is not catching Donaire on the ropes, to the judge's eye, he's throwing punches, you know, Nito's the one moving. Well, I can tell you he's winning this round right now. But he's getting in with some big shots. Some bombs are landing for both fighters. Wow. I think Warris is kind of discouraging Nonito right now, how strong he is, and he's been able to take his best punch. Again, this was by talking with uh, Warris's people this afternoon. They wanted to get Nonito into the later rounds and, and start to take over. They've started to do that in the seventh round. Ten seconds, ten seconds, ten seconds. Warris is having a great round right now. In my book. <laughs> Round eight here on Metro PCS Friday night knockout. Nonito Donaire and Cesar Juarez. And Juarez with an excellent round in round seven. Here we are in round eight. Nonito Donaire had two easy second round knockouts in his other two fights since the loss to Nicholas Walters. Stamina has to be a concern right now for the Donaire corner. Well, he looks good right now. Uh, Juarez is not really attacking like he should. Now he is. Oh, but, and a oh, big left hand from Juarez. Hurt. Juarez you know, needs to let his hands go. He has no needle bagging up. Bagging up straight up with his hands down. He needs to take advantage of those opportunities. We talked about earlier, Tim, when we said if Nonino got into the later rounds, he's a little Other older points, fighter, would he want to take the punishment and fight like he once did? At some point, your mind says, you know, maybe I don't want to take the punishment. I don't want to be here. Maybe he's thinking don't that too. Okay, don't he's not the same fighter he was in the first two rounds of this fight. No. No, no, no. My man Juarez has changed that real quick. And he's got the needle talking to himself a little bit. He's got him thinking. I told you a few rounds ago what was going on. That Warriors is building confidence that the needle was bagging up, not doing punches, much. Punches, okay? And you see that confidence here. Warriors is took in Nonito's best punch. And it's kind of discouraging Nonito right now. Donaire with two knockdowns in round four. And since that time, Juarez has slowly been gaining momentum. And look, Nonino's starting to mark up. And believe me, when you get older and you start marking up, your eyes swelling, you start tasting your own blood. And it affects your mind. Watch your head, watch your head, okay? Watch Donino your head. right now is in a bad position right now. He seems like he's a little bit gassed. Juarez is sticking to him like flies. Juarez senses something from wow. Donaire. A flurry! Wow. Don't push it, don't push it, don't push it. What is in Juarez? He's fighting like he's possessed. Uh oh, uh oh. There we, there we, there we talked about. Oh my no, God. No, no, can change it, but look at Juarez. Come Juarez on. Juarez is back. exhausted. Oh my. But he connects with the right hand. But no needle could change it with one punch. He sure can, but look at Warren. He's fighting back. He has something to fight for. What a finish to round eight. Oh, big uppercut. The 
that red John. Just throw combination, you are throwing some combination. Huh? Okay. Okay, stay outside. All right, quick, oh, yeah, open, go. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. open, go. Hit him, hit him, ah, hit him okay. in the body. Go, go, go. Hit him in the body. Go. Two hands and an uppercut. Okay, okay, okay. 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 you hear me, champ. With that, we're going to get him. With that, we're going to get him. Okay, go. Uppercut. All right. Water. Uh, Are you ready? Water. Round nine about to begin, and Cesar Juarez in his last fight against Juan Carlos Sanchez on July 25th. Sanchez was favored to win the fight. Juarez steadily wore him down, dropped him in the 10th. Sanchez fell completely out of the ring in the 12th, and Juarez got the win. Similar pattern developing here. Yes, it is. War is never giving up having that warrior mentality. He knows what works for him, and that's the pressure, and that's what he's going to do. He's going to continue on to bring the pressure. He's going to take the best punch that that Donaire can give out and possibly discourage him. You know, there's no question of desire and heart from either guy. But at some point, you have to wonder uh, who's hungrier. And at this point, War is as much hungrier. Well, I can tell you between the rounds, I look at it both fighters' eyes. I see one fighter that's winning the fight, but it looks like he don't want to be here. And I see the other fighter laying in the corner looking like, you know what, I can win this fight. And here's the thing, Tim, there's four more rounds to go. He's got another third of the fight. Oh, oh, snuck the right hand in. With another third of the fight left, Ray, does Donaire have enough left in the tank to get to the end? Well, I know this question is in good shape, but we're going to find out because Warren's starting to test that intestinal fortitude. Like I said, he's banging that body and he's roughing him up. Juarez told us yesterday he's ready for his power. He's just going to pressure Donaire. And you said, well, what if that doesn't work, Tim? And he said, well, I'm going to have to improvise, but I'll just keep pressuring. <laughs> That's what he's doing right now. And he's having success doing it. Good body shot from Juarez. Watch your heads. Watch your heads, OK? Uh. Juarez going to the body now. He's digging Consistent. down to that body. Oh. You know, no needle can't be laying on those ropes. Even though he's making a miss, he's, getting, he's catching punches on the arms. And those no, punches Nito's take their toll. With oh. Right now. oh. No, Nito's getting hit on those no, ropes. No, 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 He's not blocking no, 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 any shots. He's, He's got to get right on those ropes right now. He can't Morris take four, shots. More, four more rounds of that laying on ropes, Tim. It could be over. We don't know. That's the beauty of our boxing. Oh, big right hand from Donaire. Juarez took it again. Warriors is full of confidence. No Nito is no gas seconds, right now. Seconds. He didn't have a lot of power on his punches right now. A packed house here in Puerto Rico waiting to see Felix Verdejo. He is coming up, but we've got a dandy in our first fight between Cesar Juarez and Nonito Donaire. Donaire had two round four knockdowns, but Juarez and Donaire have been in a battle ever since, and Cesar Juarez just continuing to press the action. If, this you know, if I'm in the, the corner of Juarez, you got to tell him to come in and, and kamikaze. Just let all the hang out. Throw punches from all angles. Rough this guy up. Push him in the corner and go to work. Yeah, Juarez will need a knockout to win this fight. I mean, he's so behind on points. But he's these last couple of rounds, he's been putting on a good showing. He's been winning a few of these rounds in the last round. He needs a little, little bit more, I think. 
The right hand lands once more from Donaire. See, this pace favors Nonito. Watch your hands, okay? And this is why Juarez, if he wants to win this fight, he's got to pick up the pace and just keep pressure, almost running at him, almost. But he's got to pick up the pace and just keep roughing him up. Oh, there we go. That's oh. what I'm talking about. He got hit with that right hand and his nose like exploded. It's bleeding really bad, Juarez is right now. And back to the body goes Juarez, and now upstairs once more. That's what he has to do. He has to go down and keep breaking down Nonito right now. No push. No push, Nonito. Oh. You called it, Tim. The nose of Juarez is just gushing right now. It's probably bro. I don't think he cares at all. <laughs> He's going for it. Boris is not caring about his nose and he's not caring about getting hit easy. He needs to learn how to move his head every now and then. Getting hit with some big punches like that. Oh! A slip is the call. Oh. But he got hit. Even if you go slip, he got hit before he went down. That's a knockdown. That's a knockdown. Donaire was never knocked down until the Nicholas, Nicholas Walters fight. And that's the only time he's tasted the canvas. Well, that's the second time. Oh. No, Nito's in trouble right now, guys. Nice counter right hand. Once again, he threw a jab from too close. And he keeps oh. doing that. I don't know why. Uppercut. And Juarez lands Whoa. with a left hand. What a fight what a in fight. Puerto Rico. talking about right here boom you know gets cut right there and it goes down I don't care if it's ankle twist or not it got a hit which caused the ankle to twist that's a knockdown what a battle this has been <laughs> one, of, one of my best fights I, one of my favorite fights this year round 11 and these two guys look like they've been in a long <laughs> and bloody fight. Ready, side and fight tonight. Morris is allowing Donito to think in there and move. He needs to close that gap a lot sooner. Don't push it, don't push it. This okay, is a fight of the year break, candidate, break. my book. Both fighters taking a slow start approach to this round. We've seen this before in this fight, though. The flurries come later. Warriors will turn it up the second half of the round, I'm sure. Nonito's doing some good movement right now, moving on angles. Once Nonito stands stationary, then Warriors will be able to catch up to him. Can't run forever. Juarez stalking Donaire all over this ring. Yeah, but he's not throwing any punches. He's just leaning in. And Onito's turning him every time with the check hook. Every time he steps in, he's, he's turning him. Now, Warren's got to watch him keep getting ragged like that. He's got to keep his composure or he's got no shot of beating uh, Nonito or catching him with anything. I mean, this is a 
a fight fans fight. You know what I mean? Like my guys in Youngstown, Jaime and the, guy, and the crew, they're, they're loving this. After all the pyrotechnics we've seen in this fight, this round, relatively tame. has been able to absorb some of these punches because he's been rolling with the punches. See, he's rolling a little bit with that right hand, taking a little bit of steam off the right hand of Donito. Juarez had him in this position last round. That's where we saw the flurry on the ropes, but Juarez not throwing punches right now. He's looking for spots right now. He's protecting himself against the big bump from Donair. Needs to keep that right hand at her home. Tim, you know Nonito can't lay there and take too many dumb punches, man. He's getting worn down right now. He's got to get off the rope and get the center ring where he is most effective. I agree with you on that. Final seconds of round 11. this 12th round knowing to win. He's likely got to knock Donaire out. But he, been, he should have been fighting like this the last three rounds, running at him just like he's doing now. Donaire's exhausted right now. He's laying on the ropes. And there's that blur that we saw on the 10th. He's got to get off the One ropes. big shot. This is where Warren wants to be, right here. If Donaire hangs on, what does he take from this performance that he uses going forward? I gotta tell you, I, I mean, it's a great win for him because over a rough, tough, rugged guy, but you know, He's got to look. He's laying on ropes way too much, taking way too much punishment. That's not, that's not characteristic of Nonito Denaire. Not at all. Halfway through round 12. Early rounds, early he was sharp shooting him, dropped him twice, but somewhere along the way, he stopped throwing those up. He, st he, he, he started letting him come forward and push, pushing him on ropes. This but he's a warrior. Ask. Look, look at his face. You gotta love that guy. I love going there. Love this kid. This capacity crowd has gotten their money's worth in this one. What a fight in the final minute of round 12. Going there right now, showing a lot of heart right now. He's taking Warren's best punches right now and dishing oh. down like that. He's showing that warrior mentality. This What's keeping right these two here. guys up right now? Heart, heart. desire, heart. <laughs> Both of these guys. Pride, 
you know, Nonito's a proud champion, and Juarez is a proud warrior. Nito is showing a lot of heart right now. He is extremely tired, but he keeps firing back, trying to land big bombs like that left hook just now. Final 10 seconds of this one. A few more bombs to be thrown to close out this spectacular fight. The final word, the decision, when we return on Metro PCS Friday Night Knockout on True TV. Damas y caballeros, después de 12 vueltas, los jueces Torres y Vázquez entregan tarjetas idénticas de 116 a 110. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds, judges Torres and Vázquez turn in scores of 116 to 110. Y el juez Martínez anotó 117 a 109. Judge Martínez scores at 117 to 109. All three in favor of the winner. By way of unanimous decision, los tres a favor del ganador. Por decisión unánime. And now, WBO Junior Featherweight Champion of the World. From the Philippines, the Filipino Flash, Nonito Donaire. What a fight. And now, champion once again. Much more to come from Puerto Rico when we return on Metro PCS Friday Night Lockout on True TV.